So I'm Becca, Becca Mack, and uh, I'm the lead singer of a band called Marmosets. Uh, the band formed in high school. We are that high school band that came together, uh, two sets of siblings, so you've got the Bottomies and McIntyres, two of my brothers obviously. Um, we just got involved in the music side of things within school itself and then therefore we entered, it, we entered competitions and then we ended up playing like the Royal Albert Hall through one competition which was amazing. You don't get to say you've done that at the age of 16. And uh, from then on we just started writing more and we, we started band practice in a place called uh, Jam on Top which we still band practice now and uh, we just started getting shows locally in Bradford and Leeds. We were at a point where we were thinking of a band name and we came up with some really really bad names and uh, one of the boys came out I think it was like during a break and they said what, what about Marmosets and I was like sweet, sounds good, looks good, do it. I wouldn't say we're a new band but on the scene, yeah we are, we are a new band I guess on the scene um, because in the moment of time that we are now uh, bringing out the album and the, the singles that we've released with the videos obviously we're going to build a fan base from that anyway and we're always a band that likes to be on the road touring all the time and we've been Especially this year, 2014 summer was incredible. We played a bunch of European festivals, we did walk tour, we've got a bunch of other um, tours coming up, so it's, it's kind of like crunch time right now. But we've been around for about seven, seven years now, so um, it's not so new to us, but this is, uh, this is what we want to do. No, I don't, I don't feel any pressure. Maybe the boys might say something, something else, but. Yeah, we're quite strong in ourselves as people, as a family, as a band, and um, yeah, not, I don't think anyone can really touch it. And I think it's good to be. Um, it means we've got uh, way more years ahead of us and a lot more albums to do. So it means that we can stay in this game for for a long time, hopefully. It's our first ever cover for a magazine, so it's just it's kind of like thanks. <laughs> it's it's. Great. It's all, what else can you say about it? It's like, yeah, it's great. We're on a cover of a magazine. Woo! The front cover. <laughs> when you believe in something so much and you push so much for it and you go through literally the blood, sweat, and tears, it's like, uh, I think, I think we we deserve to be in this place, and and uh, we're confident to try and become better as a band and bigger as a band and take over the world I guess. It was about time being signed because <laughs> um, we, needed, we needed the money to be able to do the tours and do everything that we've done but not only that they're like they're family and we've, we've had offers from labels before in the past and nothing's been up to scratch and it was just there was no bull crap with them, they told us straight. We told them straight, and we signed a deal. And uh, we're very, we're very open with each other, and we want the best for each other. So can't complain with that. It doesn't happen every day, especially with the deal that we've got and the amount of love and passion behind us. The most meaningful song um, it would have to be "Cry" because it was just such a ball ache, um, getting down vocally and I really had to take myself to a couple of weird places to be able to just focus on it and not focus on the piece of paper and the pen and just trying to get something down to fit. I wanted it to be, you know, meaningful and uh, something that, you know, when I deliver the lyrics and the melodies in the studio, when it's recorded, um, it's something that I can give to people and they can understand my, um, basically my emotions and maybe understand what the lyrics are about so that they can relate it in, in their own lives. So I think Cry would definitely be, there isn't the word, there isn't the lyric crying song, it's just called Cry. So.